Welcome to the tutorial on how to use your client project management portal. The client portal is how me and my team keep in touch with you on matters regarding your project. We found that email threads tend to get long with all the back and forth and it becomes difficult over time to find exactly the information that we're looking for when we need to reference it in the future. So the project portal gives us a way to communicate with all the members of both of our teams when we are working on a project together. If there are additional members of your team who need to be kept in the loop, they can be added to the project. Simply open a discussion, which I'll show you how to do later in this video, and let me know the email addresses and names of the people you would like to be invited into the project group. A word of caution, however, when you invite too many people into your project, it makes things difficult sometimes. If you're going to be working as a team on decisions, please make one person the dedicated spokesperson for conveying any changes on your project to us. Unfortunately, when too many people are throwing conflicting changes at us without working them out internally, it causes frustration and can derail your project really fast. So make sure that your team is all on the same page before you commit any major changes that need to be told back to us. With that said, let's go into your portal. To access your portal, you would go to our website and simply click on the client portal button at the very top here. We currently use a project man management system called FreeCamp. And if you've never used FreeCamp before, you'll need to sign up for an account, but there's no cost, cost to you as our client. You can sign up for an account using one of your social media accounts, or you can simply just sign up here using your email and a password that only you will know. Once you have an account, you can log into your portal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log into my portal with one of my user accounts here. So when you log into your portal, you'll see something that looks like this. If we're working on multiple projects for you, you'll see multiple boxes with the different projects. Let's say maybe we have a website going on and a brochure and a business card. You would see three separate boxes. This is the area where, where we're going to discuss anything relating to your particular project. Once you click open a project, you'll see that it's comprised of three tabs tasks, discussions, and files. And I'm going to go over each of these tabs to let you know exactly what it is they do. In the task tabs, task tab, you will see a list of tasks. Um, generally, we have a client task list at the top of this task, task page. And then underneath that, we have um, a list of tasks that we're going to be working on on our end. Keep in mind, however, that not every task that's involved in your project on our end is necessarily going to show up here. Um, we have a master task list of tasks that we do on every project that may never show up here. These are generally tasks that we'll, we will eventually share with you for some reason, like if we're writing copy and we're going to have you be, uh, review the copy eventually, we may put that task in here and write the copy directly in here so that we can move it up to your task list when it's time or these may be tasks that um, a member of our team is going to share with a number, another member of our team. So they will go in here. So just understand that not every task that we do will necessarily show up in here. Every task we need you to do will show up in here. When you're looking at the tasks, if you see a speech bubble here, that generally means that there is some additional information that we are leaving for you. So if you click into the task, for instance, you'll see that we've left a note here um, telling you a little bit more about this task. Inside here, you can also comment back and forth to us so we can keep a running conversation regarding the task right within the task itself. So you could send a comment to us and then we could comment back to you and so on. It's all in here rather than having to open up an email and send it and reference the task and the whole nine yards. Um, when you're sending us something, also note that you can send us a file as well. Let's say you have some sort of a screenshot you want to show us or something like that, you can just drop that right here 
or you can browse your computer for the file and add that to your comment as well. In the discussions tab, this is where we can start a discussion with you regarding a certain aspect of your project that isn't a task and you can respond back to us or you can start a discussion right here by clicking on add a discussion, start a discussion with us if you have a question about something to do with your project um, or just a general question. So you would need to open it up. Be sure to give it a descriptive title so that we can find it if we ever have to reference it again and then just start the descriptive the discussion here. You can also um, add files to your discussions. Sometimes we'll share information that might we, we think you might find interesting. Like for instance, we if you're writing your own content, um, I have an article about content strategy that I like to share with clients that are providing their own content. And I would generally share that in the discussions list with you as well, um, just to give you some ideas on preparing good content. So that's the discussions tab and that's how that's used. The third tab is the files tab. And this is where we'll share files with you or you can upload files um, for us to use with your projects. Uh, sometimes depending on the type of project we're working on, we'll go ahead and pre-populate it with some relevant folders just to make it easier for you. Um, for instance, in this example, we created a file for a cus for a customer supplied copy um, so that the customer can upload any Word files or text documents to us um, since they're providing some of their own web page copy. Um, we also have a file for customer supplied photos. This is where you could upload photos to us um, for your project. And the way you would do that is you would just click into the file you want to put your upload into, click on upload. And then you can um, browse your computer for the file. You can simply drop the file right into this area here and it will automatically upload. Or if you're sending us like, let's say a folder full of Word documents for your pages or a folder full of pictures for your website, you can click on folders, go find the folder and upload that entire folder for us. You don't have to upload individual pictures one at a time. And if you wanna notify us a little quicker to let us know that you've uploaded something, you would go into choose users, choose your project manager. Um, and then when you click save, it would go directly to your project manager and they will know that you have uploaded something. And that pretty much covers all of the different areas. Um, hopefully you'll find it a useful way to discuss your project with us. And I'm really looking forward to working with you.